So we had a couple people that were asking questions specifically about this like urgency piece of creating a website. And I think a lot of the folks think about this of when you're selling, like how do you create urgency? Do you need to create urgency? What does that do? And how have you seen that done in like an effective, but very like human and respectful way of your customer? Yeah, that is a really good question. I actually had to do that for myself with this cohort. My goal was not to pressure anyone to do something like this. And for me, it was important to know if there is urgency in terms of the space that's available for you to help somebody. Um, that is prioritized by the idea that I would want to work directly with those people and support them through that process. And it's unrealistic for me to be able to give that promise to 50 or 100 people because it's just, I can't do that. A way for me to help myself is to say, I can only work with four to six people at one time. And if that's true, which it should be, because that's what I'm saying, then there's a reason because I want to make sure that I give that personalized attention and support. So that would be one way if you're thinking about limiting the amount of people that can participate is being able to provide personalized guidance or support as a way of saying, this is why we're choosing to have this many people in. Or if it's a beta community where you're just getting started, um, then it's an opportunity for you to give more feedback. But again, remember that you're the community builder or owner. And so you're going to be taking in a whole lot of information. So everything you put out, that's another amount of information that you have to receive back to. I think of uh, this closed loop. Uh, if you've ever heard that before, every time you have a conversation, you open a loop. And so in order to close that, it's going to help us feel at peace or a little bit more composure. But if we have 50 things to get back to, it's going to create a lot of stress or anxiety for ourselves. So that's what I'd say for the limit on the availability. As far as pricing, I have a pricing manifesto that I follow where I do whole numbers instead of like nines or sevens or anything like that. And it comes from the idea of just making it simple for folks. So if you have limited pricing, in my view, there should be a reason for it. If it's early, then doing it that way. Because the worst thing for me is to, let's say, find out that I paid for something in June that ended up being cheaper for somebody who came and bought it on Black Friday, for example. And then I feel like, oh yeah, sure, I got it early, but I've actually paid more to get it early. And so for me personally, I would say if you're going to do limits for pricing or a, something like that, is that the way I've approached it is if it's for people who are giving feedback or if you wanted to bundle it with a bonus instead of limiting the pricing or making it cheaper. I think that can be helpful. So hopefully that helped answer the question around pricing and availability in terms of creating. Yeah, I love that. What you said around just instead of discounting it, just bundle additional things with it. And I love the idea of also just like bundling like one-on-one -on -one sessions, kind of like what you're doing of, Hey, if you use this form, like I'll also do a website review for you as well, because it like one, you get this additional thing for coming in during this time period and all that. But it also puts in a natural limitation of there's only so many hours in a day. Matt can only do so many website reviews. Yeah. And so the limitation feels honest and genuine. And I think that tends to be a lot of what makes these like urgency cells work or not work is when they don't feel genuine. If they're not actually true urgency, right? If you're just saying 20% off or this week only because it's my birthday, like you could offer that 20% off at any week at any point in time, right? It's not really a thing. But if you say, hey, for this week only, because we're launching something new and and we're going to bundle this with one-on-one -on -one sessions with Matt. Now it makes it feel a lot more like human, a lot more genuine. And like you realize where the, the, the yeah. limited time value is coming from because there's only so many hours to give. So I really love that distinction that you made there. Yeah, I think it's about respecting that relationship, like you said. And if somebody got it early, Dr. Willis is talking about where it's like you maybe need to take something away if you're going to lower the price. Mm -hmm. It's just respecting the relationship that you've already created with those other folks. I think that's important because that's integrity and that stays with you throughout your entire life as people follow you.